Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about the perfect height for a basketball player. And this may actually be a very big surprise to you because it is a huge wide range. Let's get down to it. So you've all seen NBA players who are 6 foot 9, 7 foot 1, 7 foot 2, 6 foot 3. But what is the perfect size? That's a very hard question to answer for a lot of people, but for me, it's not. I'm six foot two. I was an okay basketball player. Well, you all know my story where I went to play. But from there, what is the perfect height? I've been told at six foot two that I'm too short. I was told when I was younger, when I was six feet tall, when I was I was too short. I've heard of players who are six foot seven being told that they're too short. What is the proper height for a basketball player? And that's what we're going to get down to today. Let's see. So there was the shortest player ever in the NBA who is Muggsy Bogues, 5'3", and he is a legend. And then there are players like Vince Carter who are 6'6", and he's a legend. And then there are players like Wilt Chamberlain who are over 7 feet tall, and he's a legend. Same as Shaq, he's a legend. What do all of these players have that makes them a great basketball player? And I can tell you something right now, it's not their height. It's their skills and how they use their height to their advantage. It's not about being, woe is me, I'm five foot five and I can't play basketball. No, you can. There, there's been great players who are that height who went on to fantastic basketball careers. There are players who are seven foot four who went on to fantastic basketball careers. But here's the flip side. There's a ton of really good players who are seven feet tall, six foot five, five foot five, who never made it to the NBA. Why? Why? Why is that? Well, let's get down to it. Let's just really look at how they used their height. Were they five foot five trying to act like a forward, like a small forward? Were they five foot five and not using their height to their advantage, trying to undercut players so that they can steal that ball when that player tries to drive past them? Are they six foot six trying to play like a six foot one guard, who they may not be the greatest ball handlers ever, but they may be fantastic shooters and fantastic jumping and leaping abilities where they could have been a Vince Carter instead of trying to be like an Allen Iverson. Get what I'm trying to say here? It's not about your height. And I've, I'm getting tons and tons of comments. And I'm not saying that I hate these comments. That, hey, I'm six foot two. What's the, what position should I play? That's a hard question to really answer. Because, first off, what's your age? And what's, what team are you trying out for? And what's your skills? And everything like that. There are so many factors that come about in basketball. That you can't just specifically say, I'm six foot two, so I'm a guard. Look at PJ Tucker in the NBA as an example. I think he's in that six foot seven range, but he can mix it up in the low post. Look at Zion Williamson, he's six foot nine, but he's a center. I know they're sticking him as a forward because he can slash baseline cut back a back door and use his jumping ability to his advantage. You tell me that somebody going into the NBA could somebody make it to the NBA not uh, who are who's playing like Zion Williamson, uh, but five foot nine? Yeah. As long as that player can handle the ball and can jump, obviously would be able to jump the same as Zion, be able to body players like Zion. Do you think that would be an ability that he could have as a guard? Yes. He could be a 6'1", 6'2", 5'9", guard with the same body mass. As long as he had the handles and the quick lateral ability, which we see Zion playing, he could literally play any position. But he used his height to his advantage by now knowing, hey, if I cut back door, if I put my hand up, cut back door, when that defensive player is no longer looking at me, I can get that lob pass from Lonzo. Yeah. So he's using his, his height and his physical abilities to be able to just destroy players and teams in the NBA. It's the same as Shaq. Shaq used his height to his advantage and his overall strength. Now, one of the mistakes that he made in his career was eating a lot and gaining fat weight and not muscle weight, which then slowed him down years into the league when he started playing for the Miami, when he started playing for Cleveland. That really did hinder his ability. If he was to stay fit, 
like Dwight Howard, he would be able to still use his his height to his advantage at that age of 36 or 37 as he did when he was younger. So, yes, we can always look back and say, if I could, if I wish, if I did. But you really need to learn how to use your height to your advantage. If you're shorter, definitely go check out players like uh, like Bledsoe in the NBA. Or if you're shorter, like Muggsy Bogues, which I've got a video just recently on. Right? So, really try to figure out, hey, if I'm this height, I should look at players at this height here. And see how they played so that I can play similar. And then f finally pick out the small things that you can do better than that player. And guess what? You can now be better than that player. Anyways, I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.